Hello again and welcome back everybody to another edition of the Royal Report. I am your Royal 2IC and I was going to sit down and go through and do a daily headlines report and, and I will touch base on a couple of things but uh, I have been extraordinarily busy all weekend. Uh, I took advantage of a really really great weather. Uh, as you can see behind me, uh, my, my green screen crew took the weekend off, so I had to come outside for the real thing. Uh, so I went ahead and did all my fun things, which is, uh, to say the least, the uh, solar eclipse, which I was not in the path of the totality uh, eclipse. So it didn't get 100% dark here. It was enough to um, turn on the... the few lights and things like that that are triggered by sensors, but uh, that, that, that was about it. Uh, wasn't all that impressive. Uh, did cool off a little bit, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I did flip on to uh, the news. I wanted to see what traffic was like. Uh, it wasn't that bad to start off things with, but uh, the accidents did start pouring in afterwards. So after everybody's was trying to get home and whatnot. Um, so far, nothing serious. I haven't seen anything serious, so it looks like we have uh, survived the great apocalyptic solar eclipse of 2024. Um, it, it's almost in that same thing. Sorry, there's there's an airplane there. Man, there's, there's a lot of movement in the sky. Good goodness. Okay. Okay. Um, back on track a <laughs> squirrel uh you know uh, the the great um social media blackout that happened uh you know it was, it's kind of roughly the same thing now i want to jump ahead of myself and then you know put the car before the horse here because you know obviously the day's not over which i'm trying to make sure that my microphone is still on because i haven't charged this thing in a while i've been using the other microphone but i want to come outside it's a great day as you can see behind me um so anyway, I uh, I did get a lot of my starter seeds really going uh, today. Uh, I did go ahead and get all of my bushes that I wanted to get in. So I've got my raspberry, blackberry, strawberry, uh, grapes, uh, you know, all that into the ground. Uh, made sure to check on all of my different types of potatoes and onions and everything like that. Uh, my wild onions are, are going crazy right now, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, but enough about that. So, uh, which real quick, two reminders. Uh, we do still have the seed exchange going on. There's only, I think, two of you that have participated in the exchange part. So, uh, if you uh, don't know about it, go check that video out. If you were waiting for any reason, don't wait any longer. I still have probably over 200 packs of seeds for the, the seed exchange. So, if you want to participate, it, trust me, you can participate. Uh, second is the Caleb House contest that kicked off Saturday. Uh, so far, I think I only have one entry. Uh, I probably, because I shared that on Facebook, I, I, I've been kicking myself because I absolutely despise and loathe the people that do the at everybody. But this is very, very important, and I think I might pull uh, the, the trigger on that, so to speak. Because it's important. I really want to get that out there. Uh, please go check that out if you haven't. If you have, share it out with some people. Um, I really want this one to go off, uh, you know, uh, as best as it can to try and get people hyped up because the auction should go really, really well. Uh, but let's get into the news. So uh, the biggest thing that I want to talk about, which... Uh, real quick, I, I did find funny. I did see that somebody went ahead and pulled up what was the most, uh, I think, Googled term right around the mid to late where the solar eclipse was going across. And uh, the top searches is, is uh, why do my eyes hurt? <laughs> Which may have something to do with, I did see an article right before I came outside that, uh, you know, now that the eclipse is pretty much over, uh, do not use this specific brand that was sold only on Amazon. Uh, a little too late there, folks, but, you know, good effort, I suppose. Uh, but 
I was trying to follow along with what was going on with the Israeli thing. Uh, there was so much back and forth. It's, it's extremely confusing to get you somewhat caught up. Um, we know the uh, Israeli thing where they hit the Iranian uh, consulate office, the embassy. And, you know, Iran vowed to do a strike back. Okay, I get it. Now, apparently, and this is, this is where it turns into rumors, Iran talked to the United States and said, listen, uh, they hit us, we get to hit them back, we won't you know, hit you guys, you guys step aside. And apparently the United States agreed to that. Well, now the rumor has slightly shifted and said, listen, we won't attack anything if you can secure a permanent ceasefire. And then I was like, Okay, and let's see how that goes. You know, maybe the, there is something to do that. Maybe it's all just a rumor. Well, there started to come out throughout the day. Uh, I wasn't on social media a whole lot or really checking a whole lot of messages or whatnot. I was in the garden. Uh, but there was a whole bunch of reports, and I had to do some translating because I don't read, like, Arabic and things like that, that came out and was sitting there saying that, uh, you know, all these people were... Uh, getting signs ready and all this because uh, this the ceasefire was getting ready to be announced. And I was like, well, whew, okay, well, oh, there's progress right there. Maybe there is something to all this. Well, it started to come through that more and more people were starting to talk about that. And then it come through that uh, right at uh, maybe a couple, maybe an hour or so ago, uh, there was a report that came out that said that uh, Israel started pulling all their people out of southern Gaza. And that started to really confirm things. I was like, okay, here we go. And then all of a sudden, it switched over to there was a... Uh, I'm trying to get the timeline in order. I believe Netanyahu said that the day... And time for the Rafa uh, operation has been confirmed and then shortly after I mean like all within minutes all of a sudden Hamas uh, says that they cannot uphold the uh, end of the bargain with the, the hostage negotiation uh, all of this stuff started going down so if all this is true which again I can't confirm any of it at the moment it looks like there was something headed in the right direction and something fell through in a very bad way. That's the way it kind of looks like. So it's going to be interesting tonight, tomorrow, in the next couple of days and things like that to see how all this pans out. Now, again, I, I can't confirm all this. I'm just going based off of the different things that you know I, I'm reading from all over the place. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. Uh, I saw the... Uh, top kind of like military for Israel, their, their uh, cyber security attack that, uh, you know, this looks like this is completely true. I'm waiting on a couple of more sources or whatnot. And it looks like uh, they, they basically kind of hacked our version of the Pentagon, but they released everything, every sort of government contract, every detail of that contract, all the contacts, how much it cost, everything. And, uh, you know, that's, that's probably not a good thing. Um, there's a lot going on all over the place. Janet Yellen suddenly changed course and said that, uh, you know, China needs to behave and, and, you know, the United States is not going to be flooded with cheap Chinese junk. Uh, apparently there's a rumor that Biden is going to come out and uh, threaten China about its aggression in the South China Sea. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, now I did see another one that I'm going to be studying up on tonight, which I apologize. Most of the stuff I'm going off on today is rumor, and, and it's <laughs> it's just to kind of get something out so you know where I'm headed. Uh, so again, just about everything that I'm saying is all based off of just you know one to maybe two sources of things that I have read, so you know where my thought process is going where I'm going to be studying and researching tonight and tomorrow and things like that as we get back on track. 
but I did see something about there was a uh, uh, concern about China maybe is or already has hacked into Five Eyes. Uh, if you don't know who, who, what Five Eyes is, I would really highly encourage you to go check that out and research what that is because that's just a, a whole rabbit hole in itself. But uh, that would be extremely bad. That's not just giving our information. That's getting information to five different countries. Uh, so uh, it's actually kind of uh, concerning that nobody's you know, successfully done it yet. Uh, you know, one hack, you can get one country, or one hack, you can get five different countries. Kind of makes me wonder about anybody that's going to try and, and hack things like the UN or NATO or something like that. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll circle back. We're going to go through, we're going to check and, and research all these things, see what pans out, what doesn't. So uh, the big thing, hey, uh, if you're watching this, congratulations. You and me, we survived. We made it through. You know, there's a celebratory thing right then and there. Um, I did, Mrs. Rural did go to the store early, early this morning and found a pair of the uh, uh, glasses. Uh, we did, as well as Little Rural, did uh, peek at it a time or two. So, uh, you know, we, we didn't fully miss out on anything. But that's basically what I've got for you for today. I just wanted to basically come on and touch base and things like that. So... Uh, if you made it to this part in the video, guess what? You rock. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Let me move out of the way. Look, can, you, can you guys see how beautiful all that is back there? Do I have something on my shirt? Oh, well. So, uh, I hope you guys have a very good rest of your day. Happy Monday. Happy, uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, apocalypse uh, lunar eclipse, I guess is what it would be called. Solar eclipse, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't pay attention to the, the titles of it anymore. Whatever it is, we made it through. So congratulations. So uh, God bless each and every one of you. And uh, with that, I want to remind you to remember to remain united because we're all prepping in this together.